So what's up guys, it's Noah giving you guys another video and today we're going to be talking about the new Call of Duty Black Ops 2 DLC that just got leaked. Some game store happened to put up the poster and somebody managed to snap a picture up before they realized that they put it up too early and took it down. So and now everybody knows about it. As you can see we have a picture of it and I'll be showing you that right about now. And as you can see there are four multiplayer maps it looks like and there's going to be a zombies map along with a weapon. Now if you've played Battlefield, then you've already learned the experience of unlocking new weapons. I've heard a lot of people, such as Matroix, Allie, whatever, is, whatever you want to call him, he was talking about it, and he, he made a big deal about, he made a big deal about this in Modern Warfare 3 as well, where, how are they going to manage this? What are people going to do when they can just pick up the weapon? Are they going to make it so there's going to be like their own little lobby or something, their own little playlist? I think that's just a stupid idea. If you've ever played Battlefield, when they added a new weapon, all you did, all they did was those people could unlock it, the other people couldn't. So what if they managed to pick it up? When they die, they don't have it anymore. They might be able to pick it up, and you know what that does? That convinces people, hey, I want to get that weapon, I'm going to go buy the map pack. So there's no reason for them to make a new playlist, and there's no reason for them to keep it so that nobody else can pick it up. Let them pick it up is probably this is probably what they're gonna do because it just it's easier and it makes more sense. They'll probably just make it so that they can pick it up if they want to. And if they can't when they can't when they die and they can't use it anymore, what are they gonna do? They're gonna want the DLC because then they'll be able to get the weapon. And then people are also talking about look at the name of it. Peacekeeper SMG. Is that some kind of uh, code name or is that kind of some kind of name that's supposed to represent something is that its real name or not but if it is it sounds more like a zombies weapon and if you look on the poster it's right underneath the zombies map so if it is a zombies map people are still talking about oh it's cool they're adding new weapons regardless even if it is just zombies they've done that before look at call of the dead they added the scavenger and they added the little gun that turned you turned zombies into humans and then every other map pack they did the same thing when they did the last map pack with moon and Darice and all the old maps nocturne toten they added the wonder waffler and the wonder waffler i don't know why i said waffler the wonder waffler and that was a new weapon i mean it's, it's not anything new if they just add it to zombies so i don't see the big deal so i'm kind of thinking it might it, it looks more like a uh, multiplayer gun to be honest it doesn't look like a zombies gun why would a zombies gun just be a little regular looking gun like that but it could be I don't know I'm, I'm I have no idea it's supposed to be coming out sometime around January 29th which is very soon which I'm ready for that's gonna be awesome I'm pro I'm thinking about getting the season pass I haven't done it yet I'm probably going to now that I've seen this and I mean I, I hope Call of Duty eventually ends up adding weapons but it, but at this point it's pretty much too late because the new console comes out soon. By the time there's a new console, I'm sure there'll be new technology. I'm sure there'll be an easier way to do it. But if they don't do it this game, hopefully they do it next game. If they don't do it this game, then there are other games doing it, so they're just lacking in that area. But let's go ahead and talk about these maps. First, we have Hydro, which looks like a little map where you're around a water dam. And I'm assuming, like some other maps, where they're, like, for instance, on... Uh, express how the train would come through every once in a while. I'm assuming maybe close to the end or something, or maybe like how Nuketown has a nuke go off in the end. Maybe this map's dam will break or something in the end when the game ends or something like that, which would be pretty interesting. It looks like it has a water dam. There's probably some leaks that kind of spring out or something in the middle of the game. I don't know, something like that to add a little extra effect, which would be pretty cool. I think that looks like a, that one looks more like a more interesting map for me just because I kind of like that kind of idea of a water dam. I also like the one down downhill which is the second one we'll look at. Uh, it looks like it's a little ski resort and it's snowing. I always have loved snow maps. I loved uh, Summit on Black Ops 1. I loved every snow map. All of snow maps in Battlefield and Battlefield added their first snow map. I love that map. It's like my favorite map ever. Uh, I don't know what it is about snow maps, they just make me so interested in it. And I also like the snow in Skyrim, I mean, just a snow map in general is pretty awesome. I'm glad they're finally adding one. And it looks like it's going to be a ski resort, 
who knows, there could be like an avalanche or something in it. Because, you know, Black Ops 2 so far has been adding like special little animations or something that happens in the middle of the game on just about every map. So they could add them to one or two of these. Uh, then we have Grind, which looks like it's going to be a skate park, which would be pretty cool. Uh, I mean, it'll be, it's kind of like Activision is trying to add some Tony Hawk because Activision originally was really made famous, truthfully, by Tony Hawk Underground and all those guys, and then they ended up making Call of Duty famous, and, but they might be trying to do a little something on that, maybe get people to go and look at the new call, uh, the new Tony Hawk or something, I have no idea, but that's pretty cool, the little grind map, and then we have Mirage, which looks like a Asian palace type thing, some people are saying it's the bring it's they're bringing back that map from uh, World World at War, which would be pretty interesting. It is Treyarch's map, so it's a very likely possibility. But uh, I don't know if that's going to be true or not. Regardless, it's pretty cool. There might be a sandstorm that comes through map that map. So each map you can kind of get an idea because it, the mirage looks like there's a desert around it, and it's mirage, which mirages are usually in deserts. So if you put two and two together. Each one, except for Grind, really seems like there's something that might happen in the middle of the match. And then, of course, we have the Zombies map. Which, as it looks like it's going to be either called Die Rise or just Rise. Which looks a lot like Darice from Black Ops 1 and from World at War. And Die in German means the. And Dare from, the, from Darice is, also means the. So it could mean the rise, just like that, or something like that. But it's pretty interesting looking. It, 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 some people think it might just be a remade version of Darice, which is, is a possibility, and that would be pretty cool if they do that. But if you look in the background, behind the zombies, there are like some buildings toppling over, some skyscraper-looking buildings. So it could be like a new map, and it, or just a new map completely, and it could be a transit map. And the transit map we have now in uh what's what's it called green run green run that trans that transit map has nocturne tote in the middle of it for this one it could have a little little hidden darice map in it you know it could do something like that that would be pretty interesting and overall i think this looks like a pretty interesting map pack i'm definitely looking forward to it i think it's funny how revolution has little dices e in it but hey they don't have that trademarked i guess but pretty cool little Map pack definitely gonna look forward to it. Can't wait for the new maps. Hopefully they do add a new weapon, and if they do, that'll be cool. If they don't, I'm ready for a new transit map because I'm ready to see something new because Green Run is kind of getting old. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed me talking to you guys about the new map pack. Definitely looks like it's gonna be an awesome map pack. I'll try and keep you guys updated as soon as I hear any other news. Thanks guys for watching. Please be sure to smack that like button, and give that subscribe button a little bit of loving, guys. Peace.